Hello everyone, we are back yet again with another video. So today we are going to be talking about the best Roblox plugins for 2020. Um, there is a lot to this and it really depends. This is more point of view and what, what you guys really will be using as a developer. Um, I, I don't tend to use them a lot. It, it really depends. I just, if I, if I want to, I do. If I don't, it's, it's weird. It's weird. So. Um, first of all, let's talk about plugins. They did a new thing now where you can go into the models over here and get all your plugins. There are plugins that are free and there are plugins that you have to pay for. Some plugins are very cheap and some are others are a little bit expensive, but they're all worth them, of course. Um, and there are tons of new ones that are coming out and everything. Uh, so there's main ones that I would recommend. Um, let's start off from top to bottom, I guess. Uh, we have load character. I think this one you do have to pay for. I do not know. Um, but this one works a lot because you can personally just spawn in anything, anytime, anywhere. Um, so I just spawn in my R6 version of myself, and then there's the R15, and of course my R15 is kind of dumb because I do not have the Headless Horseman yet, I wish I did. And of course they'll come pre with everything in them, and this can be helpful for animations and etc. Um, if you do want me to do a video on making animations, I think I might do that, so I might as well just put myself over here, because why not, um, so another thing is we have smooth camera, this kind of works with, uh, videos you are going to be doing, and kind of like, if you want to make some, some trailer for Roblox, that is something you can use on this, smooth camera is pretty cool, um, I think I will be leaking all these in the description, by the way, um, of course, we have this one, of course, too. This has to do with, uh, see how that goes like this. This is the moon animator, and this is a big one that everyone uses. I do recommend with this um, to use this. This is such a big one. Uh, the animator is for lots of lots of things, going from people to characters to animations and just tons of stuff. This is a very nice one, and Easy Weld is part of that, too. I don't know if I... Did I um, normally you manage your plugins through here too. Uh, tool group editor, there it is. I don't know where it is. I'm kind of blind, but, um, I also do have Ro Rogue Game Defender. It's just like a, as you could say, virus plugin thing. I don't know if it does anything to be honest, but I always click it and some things in my game can get rid of or whatever. We have the new and improved 3D text maker. Um, uh, let's see here. So, we have, uh, text of course and 3d text is something you can really use and it gets really helpful um the type of uh like you know text whatever this is good for hotels home stores etc like this is perfect um and yes I, I i very very do recommend this if you guys are trying to make something um so i guess i'll just put Roblox Studio Tutorials. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll make an intro with these things. And you can make the thickness pretty big. <laughs> There's a lot to this. Um, really depends. Scale. I'm going to make this a bit bigger like that. Yeah. Um, let's go to appearance. Can't go neon. Then. Pretty cool. I'm going to go with a kind of a subtle let's go with the red actually no let's go we'll go with blue i like blue so, uh, right there that one works so yeah so that's something you can do and when you flip these of course just flip them around um there we go oh wait there we go so yeah that's a uh, this one's very nice i actually just got that now to be honest because i used to have the old one um roundify is a good one too this one is pretty weird i only use it for some things you can use the GUIs and certain um parts I don't know if it broke though to be honest <laughs> um rescale GUI is the one thing I really do use and when it comes to making GUIs uh it's 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 great for uh scaling them because what you do is you put it in your menu so it's okay let's see that's right there all you gotta do is highlight your things like this. So let's just go that plugins, hit rescale, and it would rescale it. 
and you're good to just click off it. Um, what that does is it will rescale it for both mobile and etc. So you don't have to go through each little GUI. So you're all good to use that. I love that the most. So your time tracker, this is just how much studio time you use um, within uh, your time in Roblox Studio. And I only have 10 days. I would have lots, lots more. I just, just like got this, you know, 10 days ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, oh, not 10 days ago, but that's still a lot. Still. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, gap fill, another one. This one works perfectly. Uh, let's see here. There's there's a lot to it, I guess you could say. Um, see how that's just like, honestly, that's kind of good for building too. If you guys like to do building and stuff like that, uh, there's just so much to it. Um, but gap fill would work on. Sorry, it's not. I'm not really showing it the best, but it works for uh, when you um have something you got to fill, of course. Uh, the best one yet, by far, every pro developer uses is a free 3x tools. This one, by far, is my favorite. Also works for tycoons, and that, of course, is because hitting Shift T, you'll be able to collect indiv individual ones instead of just mo focusing on one. Because everything that is in the models, you are good to just move up and down and things like that. There's so much to it. Uh, if you want a video on this, I can do it soon enough. But um, see, like this, it's one of the best ones yet, and I, I very do recommend this one if you guys are trying to do things on that. Um, yeah. So there's more to this. A lot of developers use this, and like I said, if you really do want to learn on this, I can teach you guys how. It's pretty simple, uh, pretty simple stuff. If I can click this U, okay, we'll just go into visual, screw that up. There we go. Sometimes it's being weird because it's in a group, but uh, there. And oh, normally you gotta highlight off. My bad, guys. So, like that, you gotta highlight off, but yeah, there you go. And let me just do this little fatty right here. Oh. Come on. Fuck me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, let's get off of that. Uh, that's another good one that everyone uses, of course. Um, build Rig is another one that uh, a lot of people use. Um, it has to do with all the new updated build rigs and, like, body parts, mesh. And this is for starting one that you want from scratch, so you don't have to worry about names and everything like that. Um, tools. I actually don't really use this, to be honest. Um, that's part of the build rake thing. Um, importer, you can do this kind of thing. Artho, Arthro. And this, this is what you do from uh, files. Then the animation editor. This is another one you can use. Um, I do recommend Moon, but I'll have to do a tutorial on animating soon. But, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I do have a lot of them, like Codes of Toku's cutscenes. This one's really good, too. Uh, but there's there's so many, much to it, so many you can do. Just whatever you think you really like. And, yeah, there's lots of plug out, plugins out there. Just go ahead, check anything you out that you think you'd use. But, um, yeah, so... I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.